So there is some drama between the Call of Duty community and the LGBTQ community, which if you've ever been in a COD lobby and you've had some certain words thrown at you, I mean, that makes sense, okay? It makes sense that these communities would be at odds with each other because clearly anyone who likes to play a game running around shooting people, screaming slurs, has some internalized issues. I would know because that was me. Now, if you don't know who Nick Merckx is, he is a very large streamer and content content creator with millions of followers across all of his social media platforms and he's even a partial owner of FaZe Clan which you might know from their various scams and their failed attempt at going public which has pretty much bankrupted the company. I still blame you Banks. Anyway uh, a few months ago he ended up getting his Call of Duty skin taken away and a lot of people have been pretty outraged by this saying that Call of Duty shouldn't be involved with politics and the reason for taking his skin away looks kind of suspicious because the tweet in question that got his skin taken away was this they should leave little children alone that's the real issue now if you're politically illiterate and you see that tweet you're probably like okay what's wrong with leaving kids alone i think everyone can get behind that in fact that is probably one of the strongest most popular rallying cries of all time if you want someone to support something all you have to do is say well we're doing it for the kids we want to protect children Children. And FaZe Clan sure seems to know a lot about saving kids. Save the kids token. However, given the context of this being an anti-LGBTQ dog whistle, it makes perfect sense as to why he lost his skin. Basically, there was a school board meeting in Glendale, California, where some of the parents were advocating for Pride Month to basically celebrate Pride Month in school. Which, no, that doesn't mean that they're teaching kids about sex. That's never going to happen. If you've ever celebrated any sort of holiday in school, you know that it's basic shit, like maybe putting up some pride flags, or if it's Thanksgiving, giving putting up some like turkey decorations they don't tell you about how we slaughtered all the native americans they don't tell you the gory details so celebrating pride month in schools is probably just putting up some pride flags and like maybe teaching some lgbtq history and kind of teaching kids to be more open and accepting so that we don't repeat the mistakes of the past because if you don't know there is a long history of bigotry against lgbtq individuals and lots of people have been fighting for rights for decades and I think that is a very important thing to teach people. It's very inspiring to know that the reason that we can be a little bit more free today is because of people in the past who fought for their rights. And so while these parents were advocating for this, a group of outside protesters that weren't even from the community, some were, some of these people were from the community, but it seems like it was mostly outside people, they came and they started protesting these parents and a fight broke out. These guys are not the good guys, okay? They are a group of violent extremists who went and assaulted parents. And a Call of Duty pro by the name of Puckett would basically say that, you know, it's disgusting that we live in a world where this hate is still so prevalent. Like, just let people live and, and be happy. It's not hurting anyone, right? And Nick Merckx responds to that by saying, leave little kids alone. So it's very blatantly obvious that Nick Merckx is dog whistling here. He is implying with his tweet that celebrating Pride Month in, in schools is somehow gonna hurt kids because if you don't know there is pretty much a right-wing culture war to push that LGBTQ people are somehow groomers and are somehow corrupting the youth into being gay this isn't a new thing and if you actually look throughout history this is something that the Republican Party has done to every single minority group from Jewish people to black people to gay people and now to trans people so when you say something like that something that is so loaded, something that has awful connotations that is clearly indicative of your right-wing political views, yeah, you're gonna lose sponsorships. Yeah, you're gonna lose support from people because guess what? Human rights is a good thing. And I think allowing people to live however they want and love whoever they want is a good thing. And I think teaching kids that it's okay to live however you want and love whoever you want is also a good thing. I do not understand 
understand that this has somehow been twisted into something sick and disgusting because no one is teaching kids about gay sex. That's not something that's going on. That's not something that's happening. Schools are not making people trans because if it was that easy to make people trans, then you would think it would be that easy to make people not trans. Anyway, Dr. Disrespect would spark this whole thing up again when he tweeted out this. Activision pushing water bongs, marijuana, get high level drugs, and $100 cameos on gamers. But they removed Nick Merck's skin for him saying leave the kids alone. Activision is ran by a bunch of idiots. Biggest suit and tie phonies in the industry. So recently Call of Duty ended up adding like a weed update for I'm guessing 420, right? Where, where they added like a bunch of like weed skins and, and stuff into the game. I don't know if you know this Dr. Disrespect, but uh, Call of Duty is not a kid's game. So I don't even know why you would have an issue with this. I mean, personally, my issue is that they're charging like $100 for skins. Dude, anyone who buys these skins and shit in Call of Duty, you're stupid. Dude, the game isn't even worth the $70 anymore, let alone the $20, $30, $40 that you're spending on these stupid useless skins that won't even exist in the next game. Nick Merckx clearly made an anti-trans dog whistle. And obviously that's something that can't fly today. It would be the exact same if someone like Nick Merckx had made an anti-Jewish dog whistle or made an anti-black dog whistle. There are communities of people that are hurt by this stuff. And I think instead of having this combative mindset where you're like, oh wow, why is Call of Duty doing this? Maybe you should look inward and try and understand why what you did was wrong. But no, of course, people like Nick Merckx, people like Dr. Disrespect do not have that level of insight within themselves to think like that. Nick Merckx is never gonna know what it's like to be a trans person and watch your favorite Call of Duty streamer, which first of all, I don't even know why it would be Dr. Disrespect's. <laughs> Online. That's all I can handle. That's it. Yeah, out of here. Yeah, I'm uninstalling the game right now, actually. Or Nick Merckx. I don't even know why you'd be watching Call of Duty streamers in the first place. But having to sit there and watch as he pretty much calls you a groomer for existing. Gay people are not grooming kids. Telling kids that it's okay to, to be gay, it's, it's okay to be different, is not a bad thing. That is a good thing. And if we're going to have this standard where teaching kids anything about gay people is wrong and grooming, then it should be the same the other way. Teachers should not be allowed to talk about their husbands. Or or their wives they should not be able to bring their kids into school because oh god the kids are probably gonna piece together hmm where do babies come from oh wow sex oh my god and we we, we, we wouldn't want that happening right because that's grooming we don't want to groom the kids into being straight right but we don't have that standard and that is for a reason it's because a lot of society views gay as being wrong and being straight as fine and that is the core of the issue here that's why pride parades need to exist in the first place that's why kids Kids should learn about gay people in, in queer history so that the next generation grows up in a world that is more accepting and tolerant that doesn't have this stigma anyway call of duty meatheads are dumb what else is new these are just my thoughts on this entire situation and i am out